The country with the most extensive IP patents filed in 2021 and 2022, China is leading the global race to create smart cities, big data processing, artificial intelligence. China's relentless aspirations to turn itself into a technological powerhouse is supported by human talent, investment and government policies, which lay the foundation for a sustainable development. One city stands out from the most in China. This city is Chongqing. Each year, Chongqing hosts the Smart China Expo. It has been a promoter of the construction of the smart manufacturing powerhouse and renowned smart city. The mega city is showing its ambitions and defined strategy in every aspect. Imagine being responsible for a district in a mega city like Jiang Bay here with 925,000 residents that live here with a smart data management system like you see behind me. And that improves the safety of the people that live in this district. I have an example here of technology that makes the lives of people better, but this is really smart technology. This is using a video system that actually identifies the problem even without an individual reporting it. When system identifies, for example here, cardboard boxes, which could be a fire hazard or also blocking the right of way of pedestrians, it will immediately notify that individual to clean it up. The Smart City Operation and Management Center in Chongqing integrates platforms, enables collaborative management and services across different systems and departments by data sharing and analysis. If there's something wrong in your neighborhood, the inspectors will follow up and report the problem to the center via their intelligent terminals. Make sure that the problems can be quickly and distributed to the appropriate departments. Everyone wants to play their part in the community, but imagine at the fingertips that you can send to this management center anything that is going on in your district. For example, someone is parked where they shouldn't be or a sign that could be actually disabling people from walking by. With this system here, they have mandates and time frames that the inspectors and the municipality or the city itself must meet. In general, a smart city is a city that uses technology to provide services and solve city problems. Take Chongqing Rail Transit, for example. It's operating the express train, which can cross different lines via the interconnection system. It's the first application in the country, and the passengers will be able to reduce transfer and save their ride time. Another example is the automotive driving vehicle, the Apollo Go has obtained the qualifications to conduct a commercial transportation service in the Yongsheng Chongqing. It's China's first fully unmanned transportation service qualification. A smart city represents a concrete attempt to improve the quality of people's lives in terms of transportation and accessibility. It also embraces technology to improve medical services. In smart cities, you will also find smart hospitals. Now, when you come to a hospital, there's a key component on finding out about disease control, viruses, or many other ways to check. Now, taking your blood is a very key part of this development as a patient. Now, blood collection is very extensive, requires a lot of time. Over 40 to 60% of the process is collecting, which can result in errors and that no one can really be held accountable. Now there is a solution for this.
This MIBS system here called the Movable Intelligent Blood Tube Collection System connects to the Internet of Things using, of course, China's wonderful 5G technology. This will help advance into the future, eliminate errors, speed up the process of blood collection for healthier lives. Unmanned and automotive services are part of the daily palpable life in China. But where you can't see it, smart applications are also changing our daily lives. Well, how do you construct a smart city? It takes smart construction. Now, smart cities aren't just about getting groceries delivered to your house from an application. And I'm standing in front of a model of the T3B terminal. You need something called smart construction. This is a full management system behind me showing all the different parts and different projects that are going on right now. We've heard of these key words, the Internet of Things and Big Data. This is how Big Data and the Internet of Things really progresses. This is a VR virtual reality view of this construction site I'm on. With a quick scan of the QR code behind me, on my phone here, I have the construction site in VR 720p resolution for my clients to see and for myself to see. Now this panel behind me here, it might look like virtual reality video game to you. In fact, it's reality. It's showing in real time when workers arrive to the site, what location they are, as well as making sure that the site is safe, identifying people that might not be following the safety standards put in place. In the construction business, there's one word that everyone tries to avoid, and that's called delays. With this system behind me here, it integrates all the projects this one company is working with. Here's an example of a wall that needs to be repaired, something that needs to be done in a pinnacle point in construction that can save the developer time and money and help him meet that deadline that he promised. In several other countries, the ability to move forward in these terms and implement smart cities could just be another item with an already very long list of contributions to global development. This is China and this is Chongqing, a city with big ambitions, but the right components to succeed.